Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg on this Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you had a wonderful day. Boy, was it cold out there uh, today. We talked about it on the morning show of uh, just uh, below temperatures. You never like to get in your car and see negative and insert number there. Just doesn't work out whatsoever. And uh, if for those of you got to stay inside today, yeah, you are lucky ones. Anybody who's outside, I hope you... uh, Made it through the day today as uh, it's just uh, bitterly cold and that cold will continue on uh, into the weekend from uh, what I'm seeing. We need Valentine's Day to warm us all up. That's all I'm saying. That's that's my uh, MO uh, for uh, <laughs> getting warm and hopefully those temperatures changing. So we've got a really busy show for you today. We'll get you updated on the latest headlines. But before we do that, uh, or well, well, before I do that, I want to tell you what else is happening. We'll be uh, talking uh, with Fitchburg Fire Department and some hazmat training that took place over the week. And we'll take you right inside uh, 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 all of the uh, training going on there uh, at the fire department. Super important to the fire department. Break that down coming up. Plus, we're going to be talking about gun violence uh, uh, in Dane County. A new uh, video uh, has uh, come out uh, in a new uh, partnership. Uh, trying to uh, find mentors in Dane County to help youth. We'll uh, share that story with you coming up as well uh, in our guest segment. But first, let's do uh, turn to the headlines and we start from the Fitchburg Senior Center. Be healthy, be happy. I'm, sounds good to me. February 12th. And uh, this continues an ongoing series in partnership with UW Madison. All programs will be offered via Zoom Fridays, 1 to 2.30 p.m., and will be facilitated by a medical student. The next one is on February 12th. It's depression discussion and screening. For the first hour, UW student will briefly discuss the common uh, presentation of depression, followed by group discussion and coping mechanisms. You do need to uh, register uh, for these. You can do so at the uh, uh, senior center. Uh, give them a call. They'd be happy to talk with you. All right, we got a public information meeting to tell you about road improvements on Lacey Road and Fitchrona Road uh, to Seminole Highway. This public information meeting is slated for February 17th at 5.30 p.m. to discuss improvements of Lacey Road from Fitchrona Road to Seminole Highway. Online attendance is encouraged, but you can come out to the City Hall in person if you would like uh, with all full precautions. Uh, you can that uh, location, if you don't know, City Hall's at 5520 Lacey Road. Stop on by and say, hey. And uh, yeah, you can come in and join in on that meeting. All right. Uh, also uh, want to uh, talk about uh, cold weather and crime prevention. Pittsburgh Police Department uh, was sharing this. And it's a graphic we've seen before, but a uh, good reminder here uh, that uh, Sunday morning, a car that had been left running to uh, be warmed up this with this uh, frigid weather was stolen from the 2800 block of Big Blue Stream Parkway. Some of the thefts that occurred throughout the day in the city of Madison, please do not leave your car running, unlocked and unattended to warm up, even if it's just for a few seconds. Yeah, you can uh, come in and uh, take those vehicles and never look back. So definitely something to keep an eye on. And if you uh, do notice anything suspicious, please report it to the Fitchburg Police Department uh, to help them in catching uh, these thieves. All right, from the Better Business Bureau, we're gonna talk a little bit about cybersecurity resources to help uh, businesses and consumers. We're always talking about ways to prevent uh, cyber crimes, but this is always a good refreshers here for you. So the importance of cybersecurity today, cyber criminals are increasingly sophisticated. I don't know if I want to call them that, but pose more significant threats to the economy than ever before. No safeguards are needed in the order to protect businesses, both small and large. You better have it. It doesn't matter what size company you are. You better have it. Uh, that's why the BBB uh, cyber security program uh, comes in. They're here to help. Yeah. They aim to help businesses better manage uh, cyber attacks and learn from industry best practices by exploring the real and uh, risks of, surpri- of cyber attacks, offering education and awareness, and uh, building public trust in businesses through cybersecurity standards, which is all important. And uh, the impacts uh, cybersecurity is not only about uh, adding layers of security and technology, it starts with understanding about managing cybersecurity risks development of the five-step approach from the Better Business uh, Bureau's uh, cybersecurity, they can help you uh, help uh, get uh, those uh, models in place, including but not limited to understand how to uh, best to identify and protect uh, 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 vital data and technology uh, assets, learn to detect and respond to cybersecurity threats, and recover 
from cybersecurity incidences, which, uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. And uh, for businesses or consumers, we want you to report this stuff. You got to report it. That's the only way that we can catch these cybersecurity criminals. And uh, that's through uh, the Federal uh, Trade Commission, or certainly you can call Wisconsin Department of uh, Egg Trading Consumer Protection. But you got to report it. That's the only way we'll catch those cyber crooks. They are crooks indeed. All right, take a quick break. Coming up next, we open up the digest and we're gonna take you out to uh, some hazmat training uh, happening right here at the Fitchburg Fire Department. You're not gonna wanna miss this. That's next right here on Talking Fitchburg.